cause suicide. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, they do. They committed Sudoku. It's the poo poo. But it's Sudoku is better. They've reskinned it, so to speak. Oh Dang. god. Oh, that was. <laughs> that was so bad. It's good. Uh, <laughs> these are the moments I live for. Alright. Uh, cool. So, as you guys are, do you guys, are you, are you just gonna keep uh, going up towards the summit of the hill? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Hey. Yep, alright. So, as you're approaching the summit of the hill, um, it looks like the ring of just kind of crucified and mangled knights. It, it well, basically it forms like a, uh, like a cul de sac up top and then starts mm. going down the other way down the hill. And as you're approaching, there's. One man on one of the uh, posts who looks up at you, and he coughs, and he's like, Adventurers, free me. Free, free yourself. me. Uh, what the fuck is the motive on that? That's, that's weird. Well, he's Hell. impaled, and he has a bunch of those sturges that... Um, are flying around him. Does he have a sign saying, like, he's to be punished or something? Probably take, took the carriage away. Yeah, if you take a look above his head, the sign says, Jander Sunstar took the coward's way. Ah. I'm gonna shout up, what'd you do wrong, buddy? <clears throat> I was a part of the host of warriors who joined Zeriel in her assault. And I abandoned them. We fled. Me and a couple men fled back to Elturel after we charged mm -hmm. into the portal and sealed it behind us. Oof. We never revealed this shameful retreat. Uh, same shameful retreat and betrayal. And after years and years of anguish, I faced the sun. I threw myself at Lathander's mercy. And it fell on deaf ears. I'm now here. Stuck to this thing. Being forced to be kept alive by these things. Just please. Free me. Shame. I'm not gonna touch that. You don't think that this punishment equals that? Sorry, I two people were talking. What? What's going on? All these years of anguish, you didn't think this punishment equals what what you're living through right now? Just asking for a friend. Eternal torture for one betrayal. I mean, it's a pretty hefty betrayal, my man. Please, I beg you. And he looks you're... over at all of the party, uh, and uh, you see Lulu looks like really uh uh like she just look gives it like a very pitiful look she she seems to really pi uh, pity him um and he's just uh, begging for you guys to release him to free him i don't dabble in the affairs of others like that so if somebody else wants to i'm lawful evil i think he got what he deserved i'm neutral i mean if he fucked up then he fucked up and that's his business Bloodshed is bloodshed. <laughs> you want to further murder him? No, murdering him would let him be free. Don't uh, murder him. That's true. Can I get a uh, what's everyone what, what's everyone's passive perception? Eighty. Everyone's what? Fourteen. Passive perception. Seventeen. Thirteen. I think seventeen's the highest one. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. That's never good. Alright, so what do you guys want to do? Well, he said he already died, right? He said he threw himself into the sun and uh, begged for mercy from Lathander, whose prayers fell on uh, deaf ears, uh, deaf ears, and his soul was condemned to the nine hells. Yeah, I'm yeah, not dabbling with that. Vander, you also realize with your uh, perception that uh, the Stygians are not 
sucking blood from him, but are injecting blood into him. Ew. That's what you would think, yeah. I want Obviously. to know if my medicine check is going to tell me if that's type A positive. Oh my god. You would have to go get a sample of the blood. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Erka. Your medicine check does tell you that it's coming from multiple different sources. So mm. the odds of one of them having type A blood. Like all of the knights, all because it's all the sturges that are flying around the knights that are stuck on these like crosses and trees, and that's sucking blood from them, and they're pumping blood into this dude. Amanda, it's only Cholton sturges that love Type A. A positive, excuse you. <sighs> you definitely didn't say the positive before. A positive. You've been saying just A this the whole time. So which one is it, Amanda? Which well, if she's only it? saying A, then she probably means A positive. Yeah. Is there an A negative? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but if you're just saying A, it's usually that you're talking about positive. A positive but... is one of the rarest blood types. Mm-hmm. So are you guys just gonna... kind of just look around and leave these guys alone and not help them? Mm -hmm. Or are you gonna set up yep. free? It's totally up to you. I'm gonna not touch anything. I leave. I right. know better than to interfere with the judgment of the gods. That awesome. too. Well, while yep. you guys. Uh, oh, uh, uh, hold on. Before oh, that ahead. happens. No, no. Does this guy, like, I'm assuming the only injury he has is impalement. He still has his limbs, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He still has his limbs. He looks extremely pale. Like, so, uh, he basically you. assisted in... That's what he looks like. Ew. No thanks. Mm -mm. So, if I, if I understand this right, he understood... Or, he, he assisted in the takeover that... Uh... I, I'm trying to understand yeah. exactly what he did, and he... So basically what had happened was, is back, way back before any of the events of this campaign, um, El Terrell had, you remember Rhea was a Hell Rider, right? That yeah. was the title that was bestowed to her. Well, the Hell Riders got that title because they were a part of an elite guard in El Terrell when Zeriel came, the angel Zeriel, king to El Terrell, uh, mustered a bunch of elite guard and took, a and took them into Avernus to take the fight to demons. Um, to, to take the fight to demons. Well, what this guy is saying is him, uh, Gender, and these men, and um, Haram, uh, or Harman, sorry, which is the name, uh, the, the guy that the hell is named after, um, they all were a part of those hell riders. While Jander and the knights around him, not including Haram, when they got into Avernus, they basically pussied out. And they were like, yeah, no, we don't want to fight in the Blood War. Like, this is not a place for mortals. They left through the portal that they all came in, and they closed it behind them so that the demons wouldn't flood out into El Terrell, uh, and basically leave the Nine Hells. Well, this left the remaining Hell Riders and Zeriel stuck in Avernus. What we refer to as a little bit of a sticky wicket. <laughs> yeah. And so what had happened is they kept the secret. Uh, they um, uh, told everybody that you know basically they came back and they were they were not perpetuating the rumor that they were heroes, but everybody like bestowed that title to them. Um, oh, and they and didn't deny he, it. After years of dealing with that, he, uh, as in his words, chose to face the sun and throw himself onto Lathander's mercy. Lathander being a, a, a deity. Uh, he was basically praying for mercy. There was no response, and his soul was condemned to the Nine Hells. And he's now here. Yeah. And he's asking you to set him free. So now he was against El Toro. Uh, so I'm assuming as no. a cleric of any god, I understand how the afterlife works. 
pretty well. Yeah. So what happens is when you die unless a devil has a prior claim on your soul, any god can claim you. Hmm. And they yeah, just chose I'm when not he touching died. This. Yeah, when he <laughs> died, Lathander decided not to claim him, and because of his previous actions, he was sent into the Nine Hells, basically. Um, That's better than the Wall of the Faithless. Yeah. And, um... So that's what that happened. Um, he did not mention what happened to Harmon, um, and he keeps specifically stating choose to face the sun and throw himself onto Lathander's. Those are kind of the only two notable things to point out. But uh, but yeah, basically he didn't. He wasn't against Elturel. They weren't against Elturel. They went into Avernus trying to be heroes and realized this is hell, and there are demons and devils fighting each other and mutilating each other and. This is not a place that they want to be in. Like they, they, they pussied out, and they, so they left. Uh, they went left through the portal and closed the portal behind them because they were scared. Basically, they did what we're doing, but with more people, <laughs> and then they left and locked everyone else in here. Yeah, and this was all before El Toro fell or anything like that. This is back when Thaddeus Krieg made the contract with um this is before Atavius Creed made the contract with Zeriel. Gotcha. So like this is before the events of this campaign. Gotcha. So yeah, either way I'm I'm still not touching him. Yep. Same. Awesome. Well as you guys turn around to leave and leave him to his uh, to wallow in his misery, you see Lulu is gone. Um and you see that there is one of her feathers, or one of her, her uh, like feathers on her wings, is lying on the ground, um, and you hear a very loud buzzing. Um, probably not very loud. Actually, it's kind of kind of like a mild buzzing, kind of like what you would uh, attest to, like a fly flying really close to your face. Hmm. Uh, and you 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 hear that pretty you know, like basically straight up above you. Do you, do you guys look up? I look up. Yeah. As you look up, you see a giant wasp with uh, what looks like a petrified Lulu in uh, its grasp, starting to fly away. He's probably hmm. about sixty feet above your head now. Eldritch blast! All right. So, if, are you, if you guys are going to engage, we can start initiative. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't like Lulu, but I suppose that's what has to happen. On voyage! Oh, let me... Uh, come on, game. Good luck getting out of range of longbows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I decide to ride a horse. Alright. Oh, wow. Such different roles. They really wanted you, Abby. They did. All right, everybody. Scorpio, go for the net twenty. Toys. What do you mean? He can reroll. He has advantage on initiative rolls. With what feet? No feet. It's part of the barbarian. Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. I mean. Okay. Do it again. You did take seven levels in Barbarian, right? Yeah. I know. But... Right. I, I don't think I really need anything higher than a 23. Look, when you're given the chance to crit fish, you crit fish. <laughs> I'm fixing that real quick in the turn order. As soon as the game decides to upload. There you go. Alright, Sven, you're up. He is about 60 feet above your head. Carrying Lulu. Okay. Make sure I fix this here. Let me just, what before we get into this, let me just clarify. Lulu's the only one that really knows where else to go for the sword. She's nah. the only reason why you're at the field to begin with. Nah. But. I, I've been on a vision quest before. I know how it's done. Just because you've had peyote. Rage longbow. Alright, that misses. I forgot. 
leave. I may be stupid. No, okay. Nope. That also misses. Yep. All right. Anything else? I don't think I have anything else to <laughs> try right. to do at this I'm moment. going to go ahead and move everybody down here. Uh, and this guy is about 60 feet above you. And he is going to take a dash action. And go. The, all of these blocks, we're just going to... Let me, let me change this real quick. The battle map's going to do 10 feet per block, okay, guys? Okay. Sweet. I'm going to have to change it to even more once we get to the Mad Max section, so... Trust all right. me. Just do the inner line on that one. Yeah, but they still need to be relative distance to each other. Alright, so he took the dash action and flew about 120 feet away from you guys. So what I'm hearing is I can outrun him. <laughs> He's also 60 feet in the air, but I mean, you're not wrong, you probably could. He's yeah. also uh, a very, very, once he gets to like the black part up here, he's going to be over the hill, the cliff. So if you wanted to like fall into, uh, what is what does the area look like? Hold on. Fall off the hill into the river Styx. You could definitely follow him. But that is his turn, so it is now Chef's turn. Bender, you didn't even let me get on. You're, you're always on. <laughs> and I'll uh, bonus act action bless the both of us. Alright. Anything else? Nope. Amanda, you're up. Okay. Can I aim for the joint where his wing is? Sure. 19 will hit. Wow. I may. Give me a second to read my <gasps> magical arrows! <laughs> what? She's an arcane archer. She has magical shit. Uh, let me clarify. The 19 will hit because you have bless. So if you rolled a 1 on bless, it would have hit. But just straight 19. Yeah. I should have just made you roll bless, but I'm tired. Yay, you hit. By golly, she rolled at least a one on Bless. <laughs> Is she about to use a magical arrow for the first time? Yep. This is like the third. Did you guys just fly? No. That's, uh, I dashed. Yeah, so oh. he sprinted over there with her on, her ba on his back, and she's shooting at the bug with a bow, which is 60 feet above him. Oh, okay. Using a magical arrow, I just have to decide which one. I feel like that would be grasping. I hope you're not asking me. I don't. I don't know your character. Trying to shoot it. Unfortunately, you can't like bold things. So it's hard to uh, find. Grasping arrow reduces its speed by 10 feet. Hmm. I can make it not see. Then it can't really move. I mean, you can't see, but you can move. Yeah, but he doesn't have anything that will help him see while he's flying. Hmm. You want me to banish him? Sure. Okay. I guess. So I use banishing arrow. I did not split these arrows out, so I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but here's my damage. Okay. And banishing arrow... DC plus what? Oh my god, it's a charisma saving throw. Oh my god, this is actually gonna work. 
eight yep. plus five. It literally has the charisma of four. <laughs> that minus three. Thirteen. It's a DC thirteen. Oh my god. Cool to six. Nice. All right. So that's a it's, two. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a it's a no, it's a three. Six minus three is three. No, you're right. It's my yeah. No, it's minus four. You're right. Uh, my I can't read. I'm blind. Anyway, regardless, it's banished as fuck, and Lulu drops, uh, starts dropping, um, and does not look like she's going to uh, be saving herself because uh, paralyzation's a hell of a bitch. Uh, hey, Vander, what's the fall damage rules? Uh, D6 every 10 feet. Uh, so 60 feet, so that's uh, 66. I still have another arrow. Do you, do you have an arrow of feather fall? Like, work, you guys. Huh? No, but she can charm the uh, petrified Lulu to one of us. Be able to, yeah. No, charm. Ch charm. Charm. Okay. Because fortunately, I'd have to hit her, and I hit like a truck. Hmm. You do. So anyway, so you're not gonna do anything to try to stop the ball. Hang on. I'm also you have a spellcaster. Oh, I do have a net. A net. We both and have if you nets. have an extra action, unless there's something that says this is a bonus action, you could use an action to try to catch her with the net. Hmm. I don't Hang know on. if there's anything that says that that's a bonus action, but if it's not you have extra attack. Does yeah. extra attack require you to use the save weapon? No. Um, the only thing is the net is a special. requires if you make, use any attack with the net, that's the only attack you can make. Ah. But we're already in the realm of DM discretion, so... Put up, up, put up, up. She also has action surge. Hmm. That's, that's true. I have a net... But you have to remember that my range is 15. Yeah, she you would fall within 15 feet. We were pretty much right you. under them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were, you were within 5 feet of her. Uh, just six, she's 60 feet of the air. I mean, I can use it. If you want to, yeah, go for it. Let me just make sure... What do you throw nets with? Dex. I was gonna say your hands. <laughs> you about to catch these hands. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. No. And I have blessed, right? <laughs> yep. You do, but I don't see any rolls being made, so... Oh, there it is. Oh, you oh. did that You have a plus ten to net? Yep, because of archery fighting style, it's plus oh two to any ranged attack. Eight will make it, Amanda. <laughs> you can roll bless if you really want to get above 30. Do it. <laughs> wow. 30, at 30. Yeah, you manage to catch her with the net as she falls. Uh, she is definitely, definitely paralyzed. Uh, but, uh, yeah. You, you caught her. You now have a small, tiny elephant inside of your net. Smell, not small, not tiny. You Kay. guys did it! Yay! Alright, so uh, banishing lasts for what, one minute? Yep. Cool. So what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to uh, GTFO? Do you want to yeah, we gotta go. I mean... I, but we wanted to be on this hill for some godforsaken reason. So uh... we're gonna... Yeah, I mean, Lulu would be able to tell you. She's paralyzed, though. Fine. I'll use, for the first time, for the last time, bead number three on my necklace for greater restoration. Hmm. That removes the paralyzation from her. Usually. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, just, just, we're just, it does. We're just gonna, we're just gonna say it does. I don't <gasps> know if, the, if there's a roll, don't worry about it. It does. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So as you have thwarted the uh, th thwarted the abduction of Lulu, 
Uh, Lulu looks up and is just kind of shakes off a little bit and, and smiles and says, thank you so much for, for helping for that. And I apologize for leading you guys here. I thought that my, my memory of the Bleeding Citadel is a little hazier than I realized, but um, I thought this is where the ble uh, Bleeding Citadel was, and obviously this is not where the Bleeding Citadel is. Um, I know that there are two, two locations that I have been to that are very important um, okay. that I'm going to... Uh, that, that I'm going to leave up to you which one that we pick, but these two locations um, are going to be where you know we could find more information on the Citadel. Uh, one is where demons are manifested, and the other are where demons are destroyed. I don't have a preference. I vote for the destroyed. Can you at least let me finish talking, please? <laughs> No, it I just, is, I'll go with Katie, whatever Katie said. It's legitimately so frustrating to try to, like, deliver dialogue and just be cut through in the middle I of vote it. Katie. <laughs> I'm a shitter. Does anybody else have any other preferences? No, I just I flipped a coin. Hackett, Dakota, any, any preferences? Uh. Oh. Uh, to leave. Are we going to the path of where the place where demons are manifested or a place where demons are destroyed? My coin said destroyed. I don't uh, mind. Well, the coin said it. Yeah. If yeah, it helps, it was also a soul coin. <laughs> sure. So that's all I have. <laughs> Is there an upside on that thing? Go. No, there isn't. One has a smudge on it. Don't worry. Then it is a significantly less valuable and powerful soul coin. <laughs> you did that. You don't want to damage those. That like is a huge thing to not damage those. It's not damage. It's just got a little bit of dirt on one side. It's got some personality now. Do yeah. you guys want to head back to the uh, demon grinder before the fucking wasp comes back and is damaging? What I sure. care about is Demon Grinder. That's where demons are destroyed. Oh! Right? No, the Demon Grinder is the, the fucking infernal war machine that you guys got. Oh, yeah, we want our car back, yeah. I thought we I'm had that. I'm assuming you're heading back to your car and you're leaving instead of waiting for the big wasp. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Perfect. I just want to oh. say that I'm MVP here. <laughs> Uh, do you guys want to interact with any of the other souls on your way back? The, the oh. people, the knights nope. that are home? No, no, thanks. I make no eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys have made it back to the demon grinder, and there's that whole part. Yeah, we were um, just, like, get in the car. <laughs> close the hell wasp nest, which was the other probably 40% of today. Uh, let me get yeah. rid of all the hell oh. wasps. Yeah, Grant, imagine if we were, like, goofed around. We would never get anywhere in this story. I know. If <laughs> Honestly, if you guys didn't goof around, you would have blasted through probably this entire campaign already. <laughs> well, goofing totally... around is fun. It is fun. I just need to close a bunch of shit here real quick. We just don't dabble in the souls of the damned. That was a really cool encounter, actually, but that's okay. Oh. Because this was a really cool way to deal with it, and you guys are super creative. We got right, a tiny so you, elephant. <laughs> you guys got your elephant back. You got your Lulu back. Uh, let me just get rid of all these tokens. Alright, so, you guys decided the path where demons are destroyed, right? Mm -hmm. yep. The coin decided. And I believe that is... To make it clear, it was a coin. <laughs> it was a coin. Uh, okay. I think this is the path of... Alright, so the first place that you guys are heading to, Lulu points out on your map as you guys are getting inside the Demon Grinder, is a place called the Demon Zapper. Hmm. Uh, and you guys are starting your traversal of Avernus towards the Demon Zapper. Let me 
show you where that is on your map. What the fuck? If you ask what the fuck happened, this is you guys. This is not me. Uh, what? With all the drawings, the unicorn. Oh, I that. That's, yeah, that's Amanda. You Hannah, Amanda. what do you Oh, yeah, we can tell exactly who did it. That was part of the map. <laughs> oh, wait, so you're saying that it couldn't have been me? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what she said. One of my unicorns has the best butt. Look at it. Which one is... <sighs> Which one's what? Which one has the best butt? The triangle butt. With the smiley face under a rainbow? No, that's oh. just the fat plushie. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought that was a butt as well. Yeah. And, <laughs> I thought it was um, a smiling you... ass, and I was like... And when you said the smiley face under the rainbow, my first thought is... Gives a whole new meaning to taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you guys are up here on Harmon's Hill. Yeah. You guys can make your way all the way across the Sunder Change Bridge, Chains Bridge, like you guys did last time, um, and make your way all the way down here to the Demon Zapper. That is what your guys' goal is right now in this Infernal War Machine, the fuel of which will cost you two soul coins. How many soul coins do we have? Like five billion? Um, let me check. Oh, yeah, you guys have a lot. I thought it was a mistake. We, need we have 35. We mistake number 22 by Grant. Yeah, two soul coins in fuel to get yourself from Harmon's Hill to the Demon Zapper. Cool. Oh, so no. now we have yeah. 33. Awesome. Well, while you guys are making the juicy, juicy journey over to Harmon's Hill, uh, you notice... Coming out of, so this is going to be you guys down here. Okay. I'm driving. And you see in the distance I'm probably <laughs> four, probably, I would say probably I 300 have feet away. Ball. I'd say probably about 300 feet away. Here, we'll go ahead and get rid of all the tokens because um, they're going to make things messy. No. But I Sorry. love them. But oh I'm my god, fine, it. there you go, you're in the corner. This is the problem up here. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, right. I'm driving now. Oh, John. <laughs> How far away is it? 300 feet? Let's try yeah, get. This is I have the wrecking ball, so we're so gonna wreck fall out of this shit. A plume um, of red dust billows in the distance, created by a large infernal war machine barreling in your direction. Its crew consists of boar-headed and rat-headed humanoids, all wearing goggles. He's right up here. He's coming towards you. It's about probably 300 feet away. Uh... Can, um, can you see inside of these things? Yes. How? You sit, you sit on top of them. You don't, it, there's, it's not really an inside compartment like a tank. It's like a, it's, like a convertible. It's like a, buggy. it's like a dune buggy. Awesome. And so, how many feet away are they? So yeah, and like you said we can see. Feet. So. Cut, no. She's getting to yeah. a <laughs> no, no, what's a longboat? Hold on, D&D 5E longboat. Uh, they're 700 feet away, Amanda. <laughs> Hundred. Okay. So I get so two hundred feet and closer. <laughs> Everyone's talking at the same time, but no to all of that. <laughs> all right. So what do you guys want to do? They're seven hundred feet away, Amanda. So there's who's, who's driving and why should it be Sven? I'm driving. Um, I, I am the not. Word is charge. You need. One driver, one person can, uh, so you need a driver. One person can operate the chomper, one person can operate the wrecking ball, and two people can operate separate harpoon pointers. Any other people are just kind of standing around and can't do anything. What about using our bows? Quote that I get my bow. Can I just poke my head out and just Eldritch block? It's, we a, drive it's a bit them? far right now. I know, yeah, but, but when we drive towards them. 
Like, we'll just oh, yeah. prep all our spells and then we'll do a drive-by. Okay, but someone, we need to have a chomper and we need to have a wrecking ball. We and have we to have, have them. we have to have a driver. So and we have two. to have a driver. We're not going to win this fight if we don't have those three people. You can also move to those positions. True. All the right, chomper so... we can't use until we're close anyway. <clears throat> or the wrecking ball. True. I'm preparing an action for when we get within 600 feet, I'm going to shoot one of them. Okay. <laughs> so first, who's driving? I'm driving. Katie. Katie's driving. Awesome. So we're going to put driver. This is how we're going to do this. Driver. Who's operating the chomper? Currently nobody. Who wants to operate the chopper? Probably a non-caster, non-archer type. That's if nobody wants to, I'll nobody. move on to the... Yeah, That's I'll move on to the... Sven. Go ahead. So, there's the chopper and the wrecking ball. One of those two should probably be manned. It should probably be the wrecking ball. Do you guys have the character sheet for the demon grinder up? No. No, I do, yeah. apparently. <laughs> there you go. Um, are, does... Okay, before we decide anything more, does it look like this vehicle wants to give chase? Or They're coming passing? right at you. Yeah. All you see is it's it's a... You see the billow of the red dust by a large infernal war machine barreling in your direction with a crew consisting of boar-headed and rat-headed humanoids. <clears throat> So, okay, so since Amanda's apparently given it up, I will prepare to man the wrecking ball, but I also have my longbow out because they're 700 feet away. All right, so you're gonna be, you you will inevitably be inevitably be run, uh, operating the wrecking ball. Yes. Okay. Is anybody else gonna be inevitably run, uh, running something? We got the chomper and two harpoons left. So the chomp uh... the chompers at the front. Yes. And the wrecking ball is at the back. Yes. Which means essentially you can't use both of them at the same time. True. There are two harpoons, though. And this is kind of how I'm uh, doing it. You can see with the werebores and the rare rats and everything up here. The middle, so Katie's the driver. The person at the far back is going to be the uh, person that will end up be doing the, whatchamacallit, the um, wrecking ball. Uh, the people on the side will be doing the harpoons, and the person in front's doing the chopper. If those rolls get filled by you guys. My bow will probably do more damage than I will yeah. do anything else. I can do the wrecking ball. The wrecking ball's Shep. Do well, Shep, you want to do the chopper, then, Shep? Uh, it doesn't matter. Cool. Awesome. Scorpio, you got the wrecking ball. Chomp, uh, Shep is in the, the chomper. Uh, one, two, one, so two. you two would technically be sitting in the positions of the harpoons, but you're not going to do anything with them. Yeah. You guys could actually be like on the side if you wanted to. Like, just be on this side, ready to do your thing. You want to be in the harpoons to provide some modicum of cover. Yeah. That's true. So you, are you, so you guys are going to sit in the harpoon seats but do your thing? Yep. Yeah. Let me prep Eldritch Blast. Especially since I'm small. Yeah, because the harpoons grant half cover. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the har the harpoon has a range of 120, which I think is also the range of Eldritch Blast. Hmm. I have a range of 600. I also have a range of 600. Yeah. And Sven, lo and behold, has a range of 600. <laughs> Oh, was a bitch. So they are coming. I'm at 320. Right so I picked driver. Ah. All right. So what we're gonna wanna do? We're gonna wanna lead them on a merry chase, keeping them around the 300 mark. Uh, they're probably faster than us because their machine looks fancier than ours. <laughs> what? Is anybody gonna tell her? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm solid. Cool. <laughs>
Let her feel like an underdog. Okay, well, everybody roll initiative. Jesus, you were ready. There we go. You rolled initiative three times. I know, but I, the first one didn't count because I didn't click on them. Well, I then... to... Ah, uh, okay. Well, so we're gonna gonna do do the... Damn! We'll do 20. Des, what's up? Calling out to my 20 crew. <laughs> Alright, everybody ready? Damn. Yeah. Okay, so... When it is your turn, you can operate whatever we're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this here, and I'm going to say uh, for reference, every, does everybody have Discord up too? Wait, but I have a prepared yeah. action, so will my prepared action go off when it's met? Yes, just like how normal combat works. Sorry, that was really snarky of me. I apologize. Yes, it will. That was a legitimate question. Mm. So wait, do I have my prepared action or no? Yes. Okay. I have Eldritch Blast as well prepared. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna try to keep track of distance with this, um, and just so you know that you guys are 700 feet apart. Mm -hmm. um, and when it gets to your turn, or when you, just like normal combat, when your initiative, when your held action criteria is met, met you can use your reaction. So, for as instance, your demon grinder can't move forward unless until Katie's turn. Until Katie's turn, mm. and theirs can't move forward until their driver driver's turn and things like that. So that's that's how we're gonna go ahead and do that. Does their driver go last? <laughs> yeah, is their driver El Pico? Uh, well, there's two. There's there's a lot of different Picos. Uh, one set of the Picos go last. Uh, the driver is not going last. Oh. Well, I I meant specifically, uh, here. I didn't see that anything. one. Oh, yeah. That's that's the driver. Yes, it's in the same formation, just opposite for you guys. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with Bothrama. You are set. You, the demon grinder is seven hundred feet away from the other one. They're mm -hmm. coming towards you, as well. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to go towards them? A little bit. A little, a little bit. A little How bit. So you have far can you travel? Oh, we can go 100 feet per turn. Yeah. Yeah, then we're going 100 feet. Okay, That's you're now 600 feet away. Cool. Does my prepared action go off? Well, it depends. What's your prepared action? I was going to shoot an arrow the moment it came within range. It, is it's it within at range? range. 600 feet. It's at range. So if it's within range, then yes, your prepared action goes off. Wait, where are they now? They're I 600 feet. Damn it. Oh. Eldritch Blast is only 300. Re. You're rolling that one. The arrow whizzes right past the uh, demon uh, the uh, demon grinder that's coming right at you. Alright. Anything else, Bothramo? No. Okay. I'm just driving um, goodly. All the focus on the road. Definitely not texting. Alright, Chef, you're up. Alright, in that case, how long has it been since the Mosquito of Doom? Uh, you are like halfway to the de to the Demon Zapper, so it's been probably like 50-60 minutes. Oh, sweet. Ah, screw it. Less on the Kobold, the Barbarian, and the Warlock. Bless on you! Bless on your cow! Bless the vehicle. <laughs> the vehicle's not a creature. Otherwise, right, I would have. But she yeah, tells me I'll, she is. I'll shoot the driver. Oh my gosh. Wait, you, the other driver, right? Vanda, Katie, shush! What Vander are you doing? <laughs> I am shooting the driver of the enemy vehicle okay. with my longbow. That's which, awesome. as we can see, at disadvantage, I miss. <laughs> okay. We're really, really good at aim. <laughs> Look, I rolled a nat 1 and still got a 12. Jesus. I rolled a nat 1 and got an 8. Alright, so you guys see that uh, the harpoons on the other demon grinder seem to be primed and ready. Yeah, Alright, so then you're up. Uh, am 
my do I have a porthole to shoot out of? Yeah. Yeah. You're sitting so, on top of something. Imagine basically. it like a. Have you seen Mad Max? Yeah. Or uh, better yet, Borderlands Two. Yeah. The vehicles, they're all open top. You're standing oh, on a yeah. turret or everything. That's basically what these things are. They're a bunch of really like demonically modified open top vehicles. So you could just kind of lean out and shoot a bow if you had one. Yeah. Okay. So. Fuck Look. it. Uh, I'm assuming board? disadvantage because of the moving vehicle, both moving targets. I think the range. No, that it would be a range thing. Yeah. Yeah, which you're six, in within six hundred feet, so your arrow should work. Oh, but okay, you so... get disadvantage because you don't have a. What is? How does that work? Is it sharpshooter? So sharpshooter ignores the range. Uh, qual qualifier. The longbow yeah. has two ranges. Within one hundred fifty feet, it's a normal shot. With 160 feet, you can hit them, but it's at disadvantage. Yeah, so 160 to 600 feet, it's with disadvantage. Okay. So you could take a shot at disadvantage right now with your bow. You could take two. Oh, that's true. And you're blessed. <laughs> Alright, which one are you shooting at? The driver. The driver? Um... Your second arrow manages to hit the driver in the chest. Would Bless do anything for his first roll? No. Hmm. Awesome. Um. Oh wow, that's an immunity. Okay. Yeah, the arrow seems to have absolutely no effect on him. <laughs> Yikes! What a bitch. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. Uh. The demon grinder in front of you is now rushing towards you, and you are all now 500 feet away from each other. Blink in your turn. I will shoot two arrows. Wow. Wow. Both of them hit. At the driver? No, I'm gonna shoot the the port side. Uh, ooh, Harp. I'm really bad with port. Left. And, thank you. This guy. Or no, left because the actually, actually, it'd be this guy because That's it's it's the vehicle's the perspective. perspective. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why it's port and starboard. You just, okay. The guy across from you. Yes. So you totally hit him with both of those arrows, and he um, takes the arrows in the chest and is still kicking. Oh boy. Uh, question. Um, yeah. Does he have? Does it look like he was damaged at all? Yeah. Okay. So it's a magic problem. Hmm. Right, anything else, Blinken? How bad does he look? Um, not so good. Does he look bloodied, or no? Yeah. Mm. And how long did it take us to get here? An hour. An hour. So could I action surge? Can you? Did you use one before? And did you? If you did, did you short rest in between? She didn't use one, and we, and we did not short rest. Okay. Awesome. Well, I guess then you can. But she didn't use one. Yeah. Then you can. Uh, hold on. I need to do math really quick. You are blessed. Hmm. So first one's an eight. Okay. That one barely hit. Yeah. Which one are you shooting? The same one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he looks like he's just barely hanging on. Okay. Pass turn. All right, Hackett, you're up. 
Hmm, how far away are they? 500 feet. Bruh. Eldritch Blast only has a range of 300, and that's my longest range spell. Yep, yeah, I have to have a turn, and then they have to have a turn, and then you'll be about there. But be careful, Katie. Don't let them get too close. Yeah. Yeah, 300 is like the closest we want them. Yeah. Um... Uh, but if you hold Eldritch Blast, theoretically they will be in range before your next turn. So you could Eldritch Blast twice. Well, well, you could do one Eldritch Blast and then take your turn after that. Hmm. Maybe. The Harpoons only have a range of 120 feet, right? Yeah. Uh... What do I do? Good question. Yeah, it might be a passing turn. Unless you have a ranged weapon. Or if you if you have any buffs you can cast. Hmm. Or prepare an action to um like we said, shoot out George Flash. Really quickly, cast true strike. Wow. I don't have a true strike. Don't want it's it. a trash cantrip. Like, like, there's an argument between cantrips and why Eldritch Blast is technically the quote-unquote best cantrip. True Strike, people agree, is worthless. See. Well, I guess I can just... I'll probably just hold Eldritch Blast. Because I can't really do anything right now. Alrighty, so as you guys are driving closer to each other both of the boar looking dudes in the back stand up with bows and shoot them both at Bothramoth. of course what's your armor class normally 21 and you are in three quarters cover <laughs> plus five for 26 <laughs> can these guys even They legitimately, I don't think, could even hit you. Oh. Are they gonna try? I mean, yeah, I said they tried, so. Damn they, straight Can they I are. have a second to shout something at them? Oh, We're sure. 500 feet away. Please In demon grinders. You shoot like my blind grandmother. Oh my God. Can they we give her you. vicious mockery for Thank that? You. A free vicious mockery. And wrong I'm, just, I'm just gonna have to do this real quick. These guys are pussies. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, they both uh, tried to take pop shots over at Angst, and they both missed. Another hundred feet. Yay! You're now four hundred feet away. Anything else? That's all I can really do. All right, Shep, you're up. Yeah, I'll just shoot them again. Do it. I'll go for the starboard gunner. Okay, the other one. Got it. That hits. Okay. And that one does not seem to... That arrow does not seem to affect him. Even though it's from a magical bow? You have nothing on that that states it's a magical bow. So long if bow it's from a warning. magical, I see longbow. That's all I see in your when you roll the dice. So yeah, because right. I didn't change it because it doesn't add a plus one. Well, if it's magic, then yeah. that's good to know. Then awesome, it does damage. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't know that from that dice roll. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have a longbow of warning. All right. Anything else? Awesome. Uh, all right. The uh, two rat-looking fuckers on the harpoons are also going to stand up and try to shoot the centaur with, um, uh, yeah, with uh, bows. Bows. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the word bows. What's your armor class normally, Chef? Uh, right now it is 16. And then half cover makes that 18. Yep. 
So one of the arrows uh, manages to hit you right in your fucking amazingly beautiful hairy human chest um, for a total of 17 points of piercing damage. Oof. Be good. All right. Uh, and Sven. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot arrows for this side here. Okay. I'm not going to try and blow the game of quarter starboard. It's how I grew up. A 12 does Oof. not hit a 17. Don't you have buzz? Yep. Everybody but the driver and the cleric has blast. The 17 Ew. hits. Roll blast. Unless it won't do anything for the 12. Yeah, I doubt The 12 still good. misses with the 2. Yep. The way I saw it, because I figured, hey, there are things the same as ours. Um, yeah, bless basically counteracts that the quarter cover. All right, 11 points of damage, and that rat, his dead body falls off the side of the demon grinder. Fuck yeah. Nice. One last poon thrower. All right, anything else? Blinking it. Aim for the driver. Uh, give me one second. Anything else, uh, Sven? Mm, nope. All right, give me one second here. <sighs> I need to look something up, sorry. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Okay. Real fun. All right. Uh... Yeah, all right, cool. So this guy is going to... Now, drive up at to 300 feet, which I believe triggers the opportunity attack. Mm-hmm. Release the entrance blast! Chomp. Cool. Am I just gonna Eldritch Blast his ass? I mean, you have to hold action for He's within 300 feet, so. Well, I guess technically oh, yeah. they're Let's at go. 300. I don't know if it. His max distance is 300. Which one are you trying to hit? Uh, guy in the front. The guy in the front? Uh, your second Eldritch Blast hits. Awesome. Nice. I made a dent. And what you see is, uh, you know, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, is there anything else I can do with this? No. Okay, cool. All right, Blinken, you're up. Which one are you trying to shoot? The driver. Okay. Um... And then you rolled bless. Okay, with the bless. Yeah, yeah, you, you made it. You definitely made it on both of those. Damn. Just a casual 29. Awesome. Yeah, he does not even look remotely bloodied by that. He looks just kind of annoyed. No oh, shit. Does he look hurt at all? I mean, you did hit him with the arrows. It did damage him, but... He's a pretty beefy, he's a pretty beefy boar. <laughs> beefy boar. I'm done. Alright, hack it, you're up. Hmm? It's your turn. Well, again, that was quick. Well, the other uh, was 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 action. You had what? a held action, so it wasn't your turn last time. You just oh. used your reaction. So now it's your actual turn. Oh, there's lost. Uh, on the driver or the front dude? Front dude. Uh, go ahead and roll your bless. 
for that first one. D4, right? Yeah. Yep. Two. Fifteen. That does not make it. Yeah. Damn. All right, and the other one misses as well. Anything else? No. All right. Um, you see, uh, both of the boars stand up again, uh, and your, what was your armor class again, Shep? It was sixteen plus two is eighteen. Yep. Cool. And neither of them managed to connect. Bathrooma. Hey guys, it looks like we're crossing that three hundred foot mark. Just run away. Just run away. Um, or really piss them off and prepare an action to run away when they get closer. Shit. Uh, fuck, I don't know what to do. If you run, they'll chase us and we'll stay at 300 feet. True. Or, or if they don't chase us, then we can just be out of combat. True. Is Lulu with us still somewhere? Yep. What direction yep. did she tell us we were supposed to be going? West. What direction? You basically have to like work your way around these guys. Okay, so we have, have to, to go, go that way. Them. You don't have to go through them. You could go around them and like maneuver them if they will leave you alone after a while, or you could try to out soul coin their you know their fuel supply or something like that. But mm. uh, you don't, so you don't need to go through them. But they are in the general direction that you would need to go. All right. Well. Should we start veering now? Or hold for them to get closer? You could also go at an angle. That's true. I'm gonna go toilet, the other. Oh, uh, fuck. We're going west. What does that mean? So each round of combat is what, 60 seconds? Six, six. Sec uh, six seconds. Six seconds. And while I mildly annoyed the driver, I don't think it's going to take me like more than like 15 minutes to get rid of him. So if we turn tail and run, we'll only lose like 30 minutes of time. So you saying honestly, go backwards? Or like turn around? Because <laughs> they'll still come after us at 100 feet. Yeah. So I feel like if we can turn around and run for it, they'll chase us. And if they stop chasing us, we can just turn around again and head towards them. Hmm. We can play a game of cat and mouse. To hold an action for when they hit 200 feet for us to turn around and go in the same direction as them opposite of us currently. Yeah, putting it back to 300 feet. Yeah. Plus, if we turn our tail on them, we have our wrecking ball facing them. Yeah. And I think a wrecking ball facing a chomper is much better than a chomper facing a chomper. True. I think the wrecking ball has the upper hand. But I'm not sure. I don't know how much damage everything does. Um, oh, it's on the sheet? Yeah, it is. The chomper is a melee. Reach of 5 66 feet. versus 8d8. Yeah. So the potential out of the other one is a little better. 
if worse comes to worse, we can always back into them, too. True. I am going to turn us 180 degrees and sit at 300 feet with the prepare. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Can I turn us and have that prepared? Yes, because you're using your prepare, your action to prepare and action to move. Okay, yeah. That's fine. I, I don't know if that's rules is written or not. I don't care if that's yeah. fine. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Cool. If they awesome. hit the 200 foot mark, there we go. Awesome. Shut. You're up. Um. The guy on the wrecking ball hasn't gotten any love. <laughs> Warning, am eating. Got it. Uh, roll your. Oh, do you have less on yourself? Nope. All right. Yeah, that misses. Okay. Anything else? Nah. Sven, you're up. Well, before I start eating, this side. Two arrows. I didn't see that. Which one? The guy the, on the left. The other harpooner. Okay. Your second arrow hits. Your first one isn't going to hit even if you hit a four. So. Uh, and the damage from your normal longbow does not seem to have any effect on it. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Awesome. So as uh, you guys turn your your vehicle around, you hear the captain from the other uh, grinder yell, "Get the cannon from the cargo!" Ooh. As he is launching closer into you guys, and he's now two hundred feet away. So and you're gonna use your action to go three hundred feet away. Yep. Cool. So you guys are now three hundred feet away. Okay. And what you see is. Um, him prepare, it looks like he's preparing to almost swap over driving controls. Oh. Alright, Lincoln, you're up. As in, he's preparing to no longer be driving? Yes, he's yeah. preparing to give the driving controls uh, to, I mean, you can't really tell who, um, but you, it looks like he's like half out of his seat with like one hand on the, on the wheel. Um, right. I'm going to shoot the chomper guy. Okay. The first one hits. Alright, anything else? No. Alrighty. Uh, hack it, you're wait, up. wait, 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 can oh, I change yeah. it? Sure. Can I hit the driver instead and can I use a magic arrow? Sure. Hmm. Um, can he make a wisdom saving throw? He is physically capable of it, yes. For me? Uh, what? It depends for what. Um. To not be able to see. Um. He oh. also takes an extra seven damage. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Can you tell me what you're doing, please? Shadow arrow. You weave Thank illusion you. magic into your arrow, causing it to occlude your foe's vision with shadows. He just won't be able to see if you make if you don't make the wisdom save. Awesome. What's your DC? 13? Okay, he rolled a 16 on his wisdom save. Damn you. So minus 7 extra damage. Alright. Anything else? Yeah. A anything else, Blinken? No. Alright, hack it, you're up. Here's my Eldritch Blast. Uh, Ooh. Oh. Which one? Hmm? Which one? Uh, guy at the front. Both of those hit. So we're actually in a completely opposite direction. Alright, anything else? Just go. 
Thank you. Couldn't move one of them. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Hack it? No. All right. Uh, so what you see is the boar that was on the um, wrecking ball dives to the side of the ship and is kind of rummaging around. Uh, and he brings up literally what looks like a small cannon. Uh, it's got oh. like a big opening. It's got like a really like abnormally sized opening. Um, like a medium-sized opening, like it's really big, but it's um, not terribly deep. Like it's it's big enough to fit on this thing, but that's about it. <laughs> um, and he sets it right about here, like kind of near the front of the um, of the war machine. Uh, and he smiles uh, and uses the last of his movement to get back into the uh, uh, wrecking ball. When you say medium-sized cannon, you mean like medium creature-sized? Yes. Oh. Prepare for borders. Bothramal, you're up. I continue maintaining the distance. Okay. So that uh, so that was your reaction. You could get 400 feet away now, if you wanted to, or if you wanted to maintain 300 feet, you wouldn't move at all right now. Well, we would be screwing our Eldritch Blast potential if we moved further away. We want to be close to them right now. Otherwise, we're going to take on borders. I don't know how far that can I kind of want to take on borders because then I'm going to laugh when Sven just pushes them off. <laughs> so what are my options right now? Uh, with the vehicle itself, your option is drive. Well, yeah. Unless but... you want to kick somebody else off of their station. No, no, no. Um, no, I mean, like, all of your character can, options. Okay, how much or... further or closer can I make us? Can You can go forward 100 feet. You can reverse 100 feet. Oh, um, and if you reverse 100 feet, they're going to advance 100 feet. And we're only going to be 100 feet away, which means yeah. that they're... Her you would be 200 feet away. You're currently 300 feet away right now. You could go backwards and be 200 feet away, stand still, be 300 feet away, go forward, be 400 feet away. It, but if Those we went back, yeah. if we went backwards and they went forwards, we would only be 100 yeah. feet away. And 100 feet is within range of their tur their chopper. Or thing. not the chopper, their thing. Yeah, their things. Oh, I accidentally oh, deleted yeah. the fucking other were rat from initiative. Shit. Hold on. Well, I thought he died. He There's did die. two of them. So I needed to keep the token alive. Oh. I believe he wasn't he like right after or before weren't they right uh, after Bathroma? I think they had like a twenty one that would bring them over here. Let me 21. double check real quick. But continue on deciding what you're going to do. I think the goal is that I want to maintain 200 feet away. Uh, you, you are can, 300 feet away right now. Yeah. Save your action so that when they move forward, you move yeah. forward 100. Yeah, when they yeah, advance you're... by 100, we advance by 100. Yeah, so you just say, as soon as they move forward, I move forward. Yeah. Alright, Shep, you're up. Conceivably, it would take his action to shoot himself over here, right? <laughs> Conceivably. If that's like, what he's doing? Like, I can't think of a way that that doesn't take an action. So I'll just shoot a fucker. You shooting the, the big dude? Uh, no, the guy on uh, the wrecking ball, because again... He hasn't gotten enough love yet. <laughs> the guy with the wrecking ball, uh, 19 hits. Wow. Awesome. Anything else? Mm, no. All right. So this little little conniving dude 
smiles and use his action to run up to the driver's controls. Uh, the big dude, d using his held action, gives up those controls and climbs into the cannon. All right. Sven, you're up. Oh, by the way, sorry. The, he uses his movement to move 100 feet. You use your reaction to move 100 feet away, right? Katie? Yeah. You had a held action to move? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So we're still 300 feet away. Sorry, now it is Sven's turn. What? Don't worry about it. We're still 300 feet away. It's Sven's turn. Um... Gonna try to have to try to hit the fucking demon grinder with the cannon. That'll be interesting. I forgot. Demon grinders have a high armor class. Let's see. Oh, Let oh. me just double check on something. <laughs> oh please, please, dice gods, please. Oh, this might be a terrible mistake. I didn't even think about that. Why? Okay. Try to hit a moving target three hundred feet away. Yeah, yeah, that might be a little difficult. Uh -huh. Okay, rage, and then two arrows at this one here. Okay. Does the rage make your weapons attack magical? They it imbues it with uh radiant. Okay. Um, but oh god, two ones in a row. Yep. Fuck wow. me. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. All right, both of those do miss. Is there anything else, Ben? Yep. Nope. So angry he couldn't aim. Alright. So, you hear a horn play by uh, this dude in the back announcing. Uh, and oh, so you hear like someone blowing into a horn, and then uh, you hear four. Uh, hold on. Four of them. What? Is it the more? No, just. just <laughs> four of the Gorguts gang! And this guy launches out of the cannon towards you guys. Oh. This is going to be a very interesting to hit. I have a cannon, which up here. So, um, for the love of God, please, please, please. Miss. Oh. By going backwards. Huh? <laughs> Katie, did you hear me? Yes. Okay, that's all I needed. <laughs> Where's our interception flank artillery? Right. It's called a zealot barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He is yeah. I'm it's right here. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's all not right. landing. He's not landing. Uh, well, so do you, can you guys see my dice rolls? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I need to do a fucking athletics check here. Give me a second. Oh, thank God! Okay, so he's rolling through the air. Doesn't look like he's quite going to land on your machine, but he manages to catch an arm under one of the like, little support bars and was just hanging right above the bottom of your machine, of your, your war machine. Uh, and I'm going to say that took his action and his movement to fling himself... 300 feet uh -huh. in a cannon and not land on the ground and be devoured by wheels. Um, Alright, so Bleakin, you're up. Sounds like a Warframe Railjack, not gonna lie. Oh. What, Bleakin? Who are you shooting? <laughs> Who are um, you shooting? I'm shooting the driver of their war machine. From... Yeah, just completely ignore this guy. Yeah, I'm in... I'm ignoring him. He's not gonna get a turn. Not for right. good. Work. He's um... literally on the on the the wrecking ball. All right, so your second arrow hits. Oh yeah, oh. he is on the wrecking. <laughs> he is in wrecking ball range. He's in wrecking yes, he ball is. range, and. On the first one, 
I do this. Okay. Who are you curving it towards? Uh, the guy in the front. Okay. That does not succeed. Even with a 19? Oh, I didn't see the three. <laughs> uh, fuck, that b it barely succeeds. <laughs> Alright, anything else? No. No, the only thing that's bloodied now is the rat. Alright, Hackett, you're up. Would it be possible for me to cast a fly on myself and then go to the thermal machine? Yes. Do you want to die? Hell yeah, why not? Now, here's the question. Do you have repelling blast? No, I don't. Darn, because otherwise you could just kind of boink them off of their war machine. Oh my god. I'd love to. That would be hilarious. But I have a hacked weapon. I'm just going to pull that out and start chopping them to death. Alright, yeah. So if you cast fly on yourself, you would basically have to time, I would say, with 300 feet of distance, you could fly up into the air by like 10 feet and then fly back down um, into their machine. Uh, you're going 100 feet every 6 seconds. Okay, hold on, I gotta do some math. 100 feet. 100, let me do, hold on. Uh, 100 feet divided by, so you're basically going 16.6 .6 feet every second um velocity to g-force i don't know i think, G I well, think it's it, acceleration it's all about how fast he can get rid of his inertia okay well i am not that skilled because if he if he just jumps up on our war machine he's going to land in relatively the same spot well, no, he's flying, so I would presume right. he would fly up and lose all of the momentum from... I mean, yes, he would... Okay, so he would hit air resistance, he would then start to progressively slow down, and then land inside of the war machine. And now the question is, is the air... What's the coefficient of friction on the air in Avernus to n slow him down? What's that negative acceleration? Um, and then if that was his velocity at the point when he would land inside of the other demon grinder And is the difference in that velocity to the velocity he would be going when he lands in the other demon grinder enough to essentially Like you were falling onto concrete I'm gonna say this probably isn't gonna happen So I don't want to do the math. So I'm gonna say yeah, sure you can 100% do that you yeah, might can I get just, like, fucked. I'm, I'm gonna fly, like, wait, you said the demon ground is open, right? Yeah, it's open top. You would literally fly, like, ten feet up in the yeah, air. Yeah, so can I fly, like, across the first guy? And then just, like, sling my, um... My sight? You, and just try to wanna, chop his head off? Okay, so do you want to land in their demon grinder, or do you not want to land in their demon grinder? I want to land somewhere back here, but like as I'm swinging, as I fly through, I want to hit, hit the first person with my scythe. Okay, so you want to fly the 300 feet to their demon grinder, attack yep. them, and then fly the 300 feet back. Oh no, not back, just... So I fly here, and I'm still mid-air, I sling yeah. my um, scythe to attack this guy mid-air, so like as I'm flying through, try to chop his head off, <laughs> and then I land somewhere back here. Okay, mm -hmm. like, I, I see what you're I trying to do. Yeah. So if they go 100 feet a turn, you could cast Fly on yourself and basically stay floating in the in middle of the air for three turns until <sighs> you would be above them and then would be able to then land inside of the vehicle and damage them. Because you have a 300 feet distance if they go 100 feet a turn. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Oh, you want to make it easier than trying to shoot and miss Eldritch Blast? Yeah, but All in right. three turns will we have this handled? Are you sure about that? Well, I said will, not we will. I mean, at worst case, he will be there too to, I mean, if, if you guys take care of it, he could just go and grab the other demon grinder. Yeah, I'll just grab the other demon grinder and then we'll have two. <sighs> we'll merge them together and make a big one. <laughs> so, all right, is that what you want to do? Yep. All right, in three turns, you can land and attack them then on the third turn. So you are now dislodged, and you're basically right here. 
Okay. All right. Um, and what this guy is going to do is this guy on the chain is going to come up here, shove the were rat out, and the rare rat's going to make a strength save. He's going to fail and fall off the demon grinder. So the were rat is no longer driving. He's no longer on there, but now the boar is driving. Can you put him in the driver position instead of the shooting position? You're welcome. It's like a bobsled. Alright. Um, and then the other one is going to make his way up into the cannon as well. He's going to crawl into the cannon. I would say, would you guys agree, if he could crawl into the cannon with his movement, he can use the action to fire it? Do you guys think that that would Isn't be... Isn't that two oh, is different that... actions? Well, no, is movement isn't an action. Movement is movement. Yeah, but getting into the cannon... Wouldn't I... that qualify as movement? No. It seems... It's definitely a all-limb situation to cr climb into a cannon. Don't ask me why enough. I know this. <laughs> Alright, so he's chilling in the cannon then. Um, Alright, buffer my you're up. How far away is Hackett from me right now he's probably so he went up and flew you technically haven't moved move, move in yet so he's technically flying above your demon grinder so he's within 60 feet of me yes bonus action bardic inspiration just in case yeah he has inspiration and just we'll just drop that just in case um and then to maintain our 300 footness, I'm just going to hold the action to drive forth when they drive forth. If okay. they drive forth. They will. I, they, we've been doing this back and forth this whole time. So I'm yeah. assuming I'm just driving forward. Yeah. Alright, anything else? Nope, just maintaining a safe following distance. Alright, Chef, you're up. Oh, goody. I guess it's time for a demon grinder wrecking ball to the face. <laughs> but you're not in the wrecking ball. You're right, I'm in the chopper. Yeah. yeah. We have to wait for a spend. Damn Go you next. for stealing my wrecking ball. No, fine. I'm gonna walk over there and try to push him off. Oh my god. Okay. So you're gonna walk over there. You're gonna leave your seat. You're gonna walk over there. He's hanging on on the essentially the undercarriage of the the demon grinder. Uh, so you're gonna bend over the demon grinder and try to push him off. Yep. All right. That wasn't so. supposed to be at disadvantage, so it's 21. Okay. And um, I'm just going to... You're going to hoof him to the face? He is athletics. And he got a 21 as well. He wins. Yay! You don't manage to push him off. Man, I really had hoped you would have rolled a 1. That would have been so great. Um, <laughs> Me or him? You. <laughs> Wow. He pulled you off with him. Oh. He throws right. you underneath the wheels. Okay. Mm. Oh, As a secondary... Way, those wheels do a shit ton of damage. Yeah, As do. a bonus action, since I have this lovely person who's nice and close to me, spiritual weapon. Okay. You like affixing it to the car? <laughs> no. It's going to, it, it's going to over the next couple turns move back and smack one of them. Because <laughs> oh it can only move twenty feet. Oh <laughs> okay, we're just gonna say just for easy sake, we're gonna save three turns. Okay. That's gonna be a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> because it would still be technically three turns because you couldn't make that distance up anyway in three turns. You can only move that thing twenty feet. And doesn't it dissipate if it gets far enough away from you? So if it gets like 60 feet away from you, it disappears. Mm. Or am I thinking of something else? You're thinking of Unseen Servant. No, this has a casting range of 60 feet. Uh. Yeah, right. there's, there's no mi maximum distance to its existence. Yeah, that not in Gnosis, by the way. Oh, yeah. Alright. Sven, you're up. 
Is it slash R or R slash? Slash R. Slash R. God, I ordered so much food today, but I'm like super hungry. We do not hear you, just by the way. What do you mean you do not hear me? Is your headset off or is your mic pulled up? Yeah, I have my mic up. Oh, there you are. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna. So, this guy is right there, right? He's within. Uh... Wrecking ball distance. Mm -hmm. okay, so. Just aim for him and the air behind him and not a car. Catch him. Or you can pay for the mending bill. Uh, yeah, that hit. Holy fucking tats, man. And then. You can click in the demon grinder, you can click the wrecking ball. And it'll give you a tack roll of damage for you. Fuck it, I'm already halfway through typing it, I'm not gonna... Let's do it. 8d8 plus 4 bludgeoning damage. I can't Ooh. click it and make it roll. Almost right on... Yeah, no, we can't do that. Oh, okay. Boo. Give me a second. I'm glad that I got that out of the way, that was my critical hit. When I tested to see if that could roll. Um, yeah, no, you fucking hit him, and his head hurts a lot. He's still not bloodied, though. Holy fuck. He just took a wrecking ball to the, to face. the face. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. These this guys are man. fucking determined. Dude, He's on attack. X Games or some shit. Extra attack wrecking ball? Is, am I able to do that? I don't see why not. Yeah, it is your... Extra attacks, not the vehicles. You should now be able to click the wrecking ball thing. <gasps> it might actually only give me that information now. Oh, fucking bug. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't think it does. Uh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, there it is. You might need to. You would might need to maybe re close it and reopen it. But there you go. Well, I already rolled to hit, so. Yeah, the nineteen hits. Oof. Is he bloodied yet? Oh, I think I know why. I think he might. No. Oh, he's almost bloodied. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Points. <clears throat> Alright, after getting smacked around by a fucking wrecking ball, this little bitch climbs his way up and is now face to face with Shep and Sven. And he roars out and tries to hit she uh, Shep with his bolt with his tusks. Uh, does a 15 hit Shep? Nope. And then he tries to maul Sven. Does a 22 hit Sven? Just barely. Oh, really? Cool. I thought you had. Uh, no, I have twenty-two. AC? Yeah. And he's not in cover right now because the <sighs> dude's on in the same area as. I thought yours was higher than that. Uh, and so you take uh, nineteen points of bludgeoning damage from mm, the ball. That's not too bad. Too bad he's ragey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Blinkin, you're up. Oh yeah, aren't you taking half for rage? Uh, um, yes. The guy in front of on our on our on our thing. You're hitting the dude that's on your thing. Yeah, that first one definitely misses. The second one can't stop. Nice. Anything else? He's now bloodied. Woo!
Is there anything else? Amanda? I think the uh, silence is a no, nothing else. Vander, are you there? Yeah, she said no. Uh, okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure that you guys just didn't lose internet or something. All right, uh, so Hackett, you are now two turns away from being able to land in their war machine. Um, you are also within 300 feet of everybody. <laughs> and Yo. Eldritch Blast does not require concentration. He could Yo. totally just fucking blitz people out of the sky. Oh my god. That would be great is if you had the repulsing blast, oh you god. would hold an action until somebody launched himself from a cannon. You would then hit them with the repulsing blast as they're in the air, and they would fly off to the side. Oof. That would be hilarious. Uh, which one are you hitting? I will hit Dragon. this guy back here. Okay. Uh, the first one hits, the second one does not. Call force. Yeah, boy. Alright, anything else? Nah, I'm just keep flying. Uh, Alright, so actually, should I just skip their turn. So it's the werebore's turn. This young man is going to explore... His will to fly. Come on, please, please work for me. Work for me. Oh, the 19 makes it! It is the Demon Grinder's armor class. Oh, thank God. So he flotches himself, flies over here, does a sick flip in the air like a cannonball, and lands right here next to everybody. Very much like re spending the rest of his turn kind of regaining his surroundings uh this guy's just gonna keep driving uh the uh war machine forward and then angst your held action will drive it forward so it remains 300 feet away Giggity. cool all right chef you're up yeah i'm gonna push the new guy off oh <laughs> Fucking donkey kick. Oh my god. Uh, okay, and then he's a boar. That's gonna have to be an athletics check. Oh fuck, he fails. So that pushes him back 10 feet. Bye, Felicia. Works? So he uh, falls. Five feet, but I'm pretty sure that's still off the vehicle. We'll, we'll call it off the vehicle. Okay, so, uh, Shep just basically roundhouse kicks, uh, roundhouse kicks him with his, with his, um, <laughs> with his hooves. Uh, <laughs> And he failed his dexterity save. Oh, uh, no. And I would say being shoved off of it would make you already predisposition to be prone. So we'll just do for the memes. Oh, no. Uh, oh, so you guys no. feel thump, a thump. big thump as the multiple wheels of your demon grinder uh, grind this werebore uh and leave his body like so here's the enemy demon grinder um he's like back or he's like right here right now so there's you guys he's right here right now he's fucked up he's still alive for somehow but he looks like he's barely hanging on um uh, damn straight all right anything else ship Oh, his uh, spiritual weapon is a hundred feet behind us. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take that as a no then. Um. Right. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'll use one of my level two beads to cast cure wounds on myself. I think mm -hmm. that's what that one does. Sure. At this point. <laughs> oh fuck! <sighs> my favorite bar has opened up food again. Ooh. Yes. Is it the one with the nice lady and the watermelon drink? It is. Nice. She's a very nice lady. <laughs> That's it. That's the one with the Reuben sliders. Hmm. Awesome. All right, Sven, you're up. I 
Okay, um... Fucking punish I'm assuming them. this guy's still here. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's up on, He's up top right now. And Next. what's the degree of influence when it comes to that wrecking ball? Anywhere within 15 feet. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Quickly, yeah. Huh? What? Do your thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bup, bup. Oh. Both of those. Oh god, that's a crit oh. for the other one. Oh my god. So both of those hits. So you're rolling what? Eight d8 plus sixteen d8. Oh my god. Twenty four d8 plus twelve. Four d8 plus. Oh my god. Twenty four d8 plus twelve. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I want to see this beautiful mess. I Fucking serious. 24 D8 plus 12? Yeah. Yeah. 24 D8 plus 12. Oh! <laughs> so 104 damage. This guy's dead. Um, <laughs> How many ago was he dead? <laughs> he's only dead by like six hit points. Oh, cool. So that was like perfectly. So you made. basically wind up and you're like, you hit him once and you're like, get the fuck off. And then you hit him again. My ship! And he just tumbles <laughs> out of the air uh, off the back of the demon grinder. He is fucking dead. I was almost thinking more along the lines of just whipping this bitch as though we're a helicopter propeller. And just. Stop! Bing! And just. Helicopter dick! Out. Helicopter dick! <laughs> I look in the non existent rearview mirror and go, Thank you, bouncer! So, um. Yeah, is there anything else that you want to do? I will, uh, I, I will try to find a way to detach the wrecking ball so I can use it as a melee weapon. Oh my god, you um, have the strength to do it too. I really don't want to deal with that right now. Wait it's until a, we've it's stopped. It's basically a with reach. Uh, oh. No, that thing's like three tons. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I'm well. Okay, if I can keep making this trade, Jack. <laughs> yeah, well. I, I would, don't take it off ours. Take it no. off theirs after we, you know, deal with them. Run it into something. Yeah. Oh wait. Okay. Oh uh, wait. All right. Uh, anything else, Fen? Uh, nope. All right, Blinken. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna shoot the one remaining boar? Is that what that attack roll was for? Yeah. That hits. That hits. Jesus. He's gonna die before. Oh I get my that. god. Yup. That first one was minimum damage. She's a fucking beast. 39, 44. It is bloodied. Love this woman. Alright, hack it, you are now I'm sorry, anything else, Lincoln? No. No? Awesome. Hackett, you are now one turn away from landing in the machine. Dude, by the time he gets there, he's just going to be able to derive it. Yeah. One of my um, attack, one of my attack actions does as much as the wrecking ball. Oh my fucking god. Yikes. With an arrow. Uh, the second one, yeah, the second one hits. I don't care, the second one hits. Twelve. Is that your max? Oh, it's close. Alright, gone. Go. No. Alright, well, uh, seeing that his uh, leader just got yeeted the fuck off of your your uh, demon grinder, he's gonna not move forward. <laughs> uh, and he's gonna stop right where he stands, and he's just gonna watch to see what you guys do. <laughs> Alright, Bothrama. <laughs> As in number two. Back this shit up. <laughs> I'm gonna floor it, throw it back, and reverse it. We're gonna go and finish this boy. Oh, God. We're gonna so run over his away. friend on our way. <laughs> so here are a couple of things. 200 feet away. You are 100 feet away from Hackett. Um, and you, I'm assuming you're gonna run over both the Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, I have the driving yeah. capabilities to do that. This other dude is dead. This other dude was not dead before. He was almost mostly dead. He's yeah. dead now. <laughs> That's good. The other dude is even more dead than he already was. So he's more deader. Yes. And you're now 200 feet away. Anything else? No. Alright, Chef, you're up. So what I'm hearing is she increased his level of deadification. <laughs> yeah. 
exactly what she did. Back to the longbow. There are no survivors. <laughs> it's a mag it is a magical bow, yes, with 20 yes. hits. Fuck you. Five points of damage. Woohoo! Anything else? No. Nope. Alright, Savannah, you're up. Um You guys are passing me, so I mean if you wanted to reach down and grab a corpse. <clears throat> on your way up. Both. You already used your action. It's up to Sven. I know. <laughs> uh, I would like to point out, if we, if we claim that one, there is a cannon that we can then use to launch Sven at the <laughs> Yes! <laughs> do it! Which one do I need to capture? What did I do? <laughs> this one? What? Is, oh, is it a strength then... check to try? If you want to pick up the- so the cannon is at the other machine, but if you want to pick up these corpses, they're fucking dead and they're mush. I don't care, you could pick up their bodies. Sweet. You just- just do it without a save. Do you want to search them while you're at it? While you pick do them up it. and bring them over the edge? Do it, do it, do it. I mean, if, if they're- it, well, I, I was assuming that the, one of the cans was on them, but no, if it's on the other machine, then I'm not gonna touch it then. Oh. You don't want to touch these bodies? You no. can bathe your sword in the blood while you loot they them. Have equipment. I okay. I'll get that after I killed this fucker. He wants the cannon. The cannon. No, no, I, I want to kill him. <laughs> hey, but we're just, not gonna want to. Just wanna... remember, Scorpio, your bow is not magical and hasn't done any damage to any of these things so far. Yeah. Be raging. Okay. Right. It's not magical. You're, if you're raging, yeah. If you're raging, the radiant damage from the rage attack uh, will damage them. Yes. Yeah. So, if that's what you want to do, that's totally fine. Okay, but well, we're, to... not, we're not going to want to use the Wrecking Ball on the other one if we want to take the other one, because what if we damage the other one? Spare parts. Okay, what do I... I'm assuming I can only try and grab one, or do I... Can you I could grab both corpses both. if you want. You could grab both corpses if you want. Okay, doing what? I'm just gonna give it to you. I'm just gonna say you could do it if you want to do it. Fine. All right. Cool. So you pick up both corpses and bring them into your your thing. And it looks like they have some shiny stuff on them. Ooh. Don't say the S word. Shiny? shiny. There it is. I'm just gonna move these over here to make it clean. All right. Anything else, Sven? Nope. Awesome, bleaking you're up. Is our warlock a hundred feet in front of us? Is he on the other machine yet? Nope. Nope. Kind of between the two. The other machine's not gonna move closer. He's not gonna be landing on that other machine. Oof. <laughs> you could net him in. <laughs> But he would be able to land back on your machine, as true. Um, you guys came back up. Still blast. True. Oh, so uh, nineteen, eighteen, both of those hit. So he is looking very wounded right now. Anything else? Turn. All right, Hackett, you're up. Have I landed there yet? Nope, you're still 100 feet away. Oh. You could probably take a prepared action though if you think you're gonna land on him this turn. Or to land on whichever one. Comes I mean, to I'm him. feeling he's gonna be dead by then. True. Well, if you take a prepared action to hit him with your scythe, if he moves forward towards the other ship, uh, or the other. Uh, War Machine, you could use your prepared action to hit him with your scythe, and then you would just land in the other ship in the War okay. Machine. Is that what you want to do? Yep. Cool. Just go ahead and roll an attack, because that's what's going to happen. He's going to move closer. He's got nothing left to lose. You hit him. Oh my god. And he has, like, two hit points, so just 
roll more than two hit points. <laughs> no. Okay, so as he is driving in to make his final stand and ram, you come down with your scythe and just cut him through the middle of the face, hook into the seat, and pull yourself into the seat. Nice. Nice. So you're now a pilot. I also toss his body out the window. Quick question, Hackett. Wait, no, we can loot it. It's okay. Well, uh, if I... um, you're a hexblade, right? I'm a what? Are you a hexblade? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, never mind. Cool. So, yay, combat is over, and ha Hackett has now commandeered, commandeered yeah. this war machine, and you guys have your other war machine, and yeah, do you guys want to pull over and check all the shit? I pull up next to him. All right, so you guys now we're out of combat. Let me get rid of all of this. So you guys have uh, completely taken out this gig and have acquired another demon grinder, if you guys wish. <laughs> uh, after searching all three of the bodies, or all of most of the bodies that you've been able to save, um, you found that the main captain has about eight soul coins on him. And he is also carrying a pretty circlet, like a it's, it's yeah, it's basically like a almost like an amulet that you just kind of wrap around your head. Hmm. All right, who's attuning to it? Because none of us uh, none of us have identify. Sure, we don't. Oh boy. I'm sure if you saved it, you might be able to get someone to identify it for you. Alright. Throw it in the pouch. Alright, um, other than that, you found probably another 200 gold uh, worth of just random stuff uh, just on the people. Uh, you've also found the one cannon, um, hold on, what I need is, so, a wrecking ball weighs about one ton on average, yeah. uh, so I don't think you're going to be able to carry that, um, yeah. sorry, uh, but what you can do is small cannon weights. Okay, so uh, a that, two that, that inch... thing would not be small. Yeah, I know a two inch caliber cannon weighed at uh, most 440 pounds. So, what I'm gonna say here is this uh, where is the demon grinder? The demon grinder can carry an extra ton of cargo capacity. I would say if you sacrifice half a ton of cargo capacity, I think it's only 500 pounds, but that's fine. You could mount this cannon to your demon grinder. It would be a thousand. Oh, a ton is 2,000. Yeah, it's 2,000 pounds. Sure. I thought a ton was 1,000 pounds. A ton no. is 2,000 pounds. So yes, if, um, I would say if you just subtract 500 pounds off of your cargo capacity, so you'd have 1,500 pound cargo capacity, you could mount this cannon uh, and bolt it safely if you find someone who can do the work for you. You, you could bolt, uh, get it bolted to your war machine. Hmm. Yo, what's your strength score? Two. You, you cut in. Can you cut, say that again? Uh, what is Scorpio's strength score? <sighs> So, if you guys are down with just uh, reducing your cargo capacity by 500 pounds, you can mount that cannon in. Alternatively, let's take both vehicles and then ditch whichever one runs out of fuel first. I mean, yeah. 
Or we can try to sell the other one. I mean, yeah. We got eight soul coins for... Or we can try to combine them into one single vehicle. That's probably something you might be able to do as well. Had like a second I mean, set of friends. back you guys, seats. You guys managed to make friends with old Ma with Mad Maggie. Mad Maggie, <laughs> remember, had a bunch of just mechanic shit that was happening at her place. I mean, the two Kenkus might be able to do some wonders with these things. We need to do that. Yep. Cool. We so we'll dump the cannon into the like other car until we do that. Who's in charge of driving the other one? I don't know. I don't mind. I can be. I literally can't. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll drive it. Worst comes to worst, I can just uh, pop up my... What's it called? Spirit Guardians, and then they won't want to get near me. True. It's actually a pretty good defense. Team Grinder is actually like one of the best one of these things. I'll come up with something. Not okay. We'll have a Demon Grinder XLE. <laughs> Let me well, test I'm just reading through some of this shit. Well, the Demon Grinder is the head. Is the what? Would be like if. If we were to compare them to modern war vehicles, it would be the main battle tank. Yeah. So it's good at what it does. But say you had a bunch of, I don't know what I'm talking about, smaller, faster vehicles who could yeah. swarm the mm -hmm. demon grinder. So, um, totally up to you guys if you want to take the other vehicle, maybe back to Mad Maggie or, you know, do something like that. Try to sell it, try to combine some shit together. Uh, it's up to you guys. Yeah. Well, let's just drive both of them for now. It's not like we have shit tons of soul coins. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, I need to add those to, to the count. About that. All right, so are you guys heading uh, to the Demon Zapper now, or... Um, are you gonna head back to Mad Maggie? Probably go to the Zapper, I think. I'm down. Alright, well, if you guys are heading to the Demon Zapper, that is all I have for today. We are up to 41 okay. soul coins. Okay, so everybody's definitely Christ. taking level 8. 